My name is Alaska John. Lots of things here going on. Thanks for watching all my videos. And so you know, before you go, you can subscribe to my YouTube channel. Just so you know, before you go, you can subscribe to my YouTube channel. Okay, so we are down near Tudor and Campbell Airstrip Road. Campbell Airstrip Road is directly in front of us. It'll turn into Basher Road, but uh, this is just a beautiful roadway. It'll uh, go past the Botanical Garden. will be on the left. There'll be a fire station, a school. And then as you continue, you'll hit Parkland. And then once you get past the Parkland, there's some uh, private homes, and then they're surrounded by Parkland. But I was up here three days ago for work. Road goes uh, about five miles to the, the very end. There's several roads that turn off on the sides, but uh, five miles to the highest point and saw two moose along the roadway, which is not a big deal because last night in my yard I had four moose. So hopefully we'll see some wildlife catch it on my camera. You can see the fireweed. Look at the fireweed. That's the the red. Well, those are bushes, but the fireweed was back there. The the red colored grass. So this is going to be. We'll be gaining elevation basically the whole way going up. So I'll probably have to pull over, yield that. Uh, some cars go by me. But this is one of my one of my favorite rides in Anchorage. Rides or drive. This road's quite rough. But just look at the colors. My gosh. It's like it's been painted. something it looks like. Guy gave me a thumbs up. I didn't realize it until I was already by him. Otherwise I would have returned it. Oh my goodness. <laughs> this road has so many dips and bumps. It's fun. So there's a parking lot here. If you take the right, it's called the Campbell Airstrip Trail. Trailhead. A lot of good parking uh, there. Get on the trails. There's a trail farther up here that they closed maybe two or three weeks ago because of air activity. They've had uh, a bicycle was attacked years ago and I think they've had some hikers, I'm not sure, mauled or close calls. It really smells different up here too, I mean, I guess what I'm smelling is the, uh, it doesn't sound pleasant, but the, the decay of the of the trees and the grasses, but it's not a bad smell. Just kind of a foresty smell. This is also beautiful in the winter time. There's another little trail that takes off to the left. I'm not sure the name of that one though.
think we're kind of getting a little drizzle of rain now. We should be able to get up close to those clouds. There's a couple trailheads on the left and the right. What they call the North Bivouac Trailhead and the South Bivouac Trailhead. Now's the time when you're like, it'd be nice to have a little more power in the engine. You know, here comes a car or two behind us. Let me pull over. Normally I'd just wave them around me, but with the corner up here and the, the guardrail, it'll be kind of hard to get them around me. So we'll have to start from a standstill. But if anyone's thinking of getting a Honda Ruckus, I would greatly recommend it. I've had nothing but fun with this one. Insurance is uh, relatively cheap. I have my insurance with GEICO. I don't have my vehicle insurance with GEICO, but when I, when I got the scooter, I called up my insurance company and they're like, no, we don't even offer scooter, motorcycle insurance, nothing like that. So. I went with Geico. It's only $99 a year, which uh, I don't know how that compares to other parts of the states, but I thought I would get it. And then, of course, in the wintertime, which you're going to be looking at six months or so, you're not going to, or I'm, at least I'm not going to be riding it. So I thought, well, I'll just get it for half a year. That'd be like $50. And then cancel it or suspend it and then start it up again but insurance companies are pretty smart they have it set up at least Geico and this might not be with the way it is with other companies oh here comes a car behind us there's a little pullover spot up here let's see if I can make it uh, Geico has it set up so for a one-year policy, and I think that's the minimum. Could be wrong, but I think that was the minimum. They have it set up so your first few months are quite a bit more expensive, and I don't remember what the exact breakdown is, but it's like 20 or $25, or something like that. Maybe around $20 or so the first few months. And then the remaining months are quite a bit cheaper, so it's not it's not like it's a hundred dollars divided by twelve and you pay eight something every month. Boy, look at that fireweed, that's pretty. So what would happen is, like I was thinking, well I'll get it, have it for whatever, five, six months, then suspend it, cancel it, start it up again, whenever spring or summer comes along but if I did that then they would be well you have to start your policy again so you start those first few expensive months but anyway it turned out where the way they have it rigged up it would be more expensive to do that than just keep the policy year long even though I don't need it for five or six months But there's private homes all along here, so we went through the park area, and a lot of what you can see is parkland up there. But it goes, turns into parkland, except for right around here and some of these side roads, there's private homes, and hopefully the view will be good when we get to the top. There's only, only this road in and this road out. The lots up here are really expensive, well, at least to me. A couple I've seen, one was around 300, and another one was 350. It might even be more now. That was quite a while. 
there's a house for sale. But does it have flyers? Nope, no flyers. So. And also, way up here, you're not going to be able to be on the city water or the city uh, sewer. So you have to do your own septic tank and drill your own well, which is adds to your expense. It is covered by police and fire. Well, we haven't seen a moose on the way up here, maybe on the way back. And there's another trailhead on the left here. Three cars there. We'll go as high as we can go. But to the right is the view, and when it's clear, you can see downtown, the ocean. Oh, looks like you can still see it today. Let's go up here. a couple dog walkers or one dog walker and a couple dogs this little brown house in the front of us was for sale not too long ago I forgot how much it was I think it was 600 700 thousand something like that beautiful area here. My name is Alaska John, lots of things here going on. Thanks for watching all my videos, and so you know before you go, you can subscribe to my YouTube channel Just so you know Before you go, you can subscribe to my YouTube channel